Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to do another update on this Fluxgate generator setup. I don't know if you can uh, call it now a Fluxgate generator because at this point I have two ring magnets spinning on the shaft. They are facing in, north facing in, both of them. It doesn't matter if you put them north facing in or south facing in. It, uh, I don't the test is still the same. Um, when I'm done with the video, I'm going to stop it uh, so you can see it. I've already done the test. I'm going to show you the figures. As always, I will write these down in the comment section. I'm driving it now on 23 volts instead of uh, 26 at yeah below 50 milliamps as always. The reason for that is driving it on 26 volts. Uh, because of the inertia, the momentum these two uh, ringmans are giving, the system want to drive around 2100 RPM. But these rings are not perfectly balanced, so I get a lot of vibration once the speed get up to the uh, 2000 RPM. There's a reason that I'm driving it on 3 volts, 3 volts lower. Um, the system, when it's spinning and it has no coil in place, and with that I mean like this, it is running at 1896 RPM. When I put the coil in place like that, but without the load, without the LEDs, it's running at the same RPM, 1896. So that's a good thing. When I load it down with the LEDs, it drops to around, uh, let's see, um, 8 RPM. To 1888 yes this 8 rpm drop that's not much when I short the coil it drops further down to 1875 which is roughly more 25 31 rpm so not bad I have it running already gonna show you the uh, light I'll put in the dark it is uh, not bad at all it's pretty good actually. Yeah. Oops. There it is. You can clearly see everything in the back. Yeah, not bad. The light is flickering a bit. So yeah, and what I can say, let me stop it now. Mm, I have stopped it. Wait a moment. Yeah. So, once again, two ring magnets spinning, poles facing each other. So basically it is in push mode, pushing each other away. I have now northy and north here, but you can also put south and south, it doesn't matter. I've done it already, same, same uh, outcome. Uh, what I can say is, is this magnet over here has a perfectly uniform um, how do you say that uh, uniform magnetic field on this side this one is almost perfect uniform but somewhere around its surface it sets like a little dent you can say in the magnetic field because I have played around with the uh, neodymium magnets on them and when you put, when you do that, or you put medium magnets on the surface of these ferret ones, it will um, not damage the field, but you say that uh, it will reconfigure the field, like in segments. So maybe that's the reason why I have some output now. I don't know. Like I said, this side is per perfectly uniform, uniform or whatever you want to call it. And this side has one spot where it's not uniform but even if it's only uh, if it has one spot mm, I would say that the output should be far less than what I have now so anyway I do like that this setup and by the way the coil is in there not like this let me take it the coil is there not like this but uh, like this that's the way I have the call in there now.
Okay, that's it for now. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching.